hi everyone in this video we are going to set up our own email server here in this active directory server 2012 system okay so let's go to this server i already take a remote desktop okay and let me maximize to set up your own email server for that you need to download uh, two things both are free one is thunderbird for client application email client application second is the hmail server which is free so i already download both of them both are free and i put them on the desktop okay so these two things however to install this hmail server it's required dot net framework so first you need to install as a services and feature a dot net framework in your server so click next and click next click next click next and you will find that in the features okay so click next and here is dot net framework so choose this one okay and i believe it's already no it's not selected dot net framework and click next and click install so this is the first requirement for the uh, hmail server it's required dot net framework to be installed in your system so when it's installed after that we will set up the hmail server so you can use them in your lab okay you don't need require exchange server and outlook to configure a huge resources one so you can use this in your lab okay so we are waiting to be installed this one and after that we will install dot net framework features then we can install the hmail server okay so let me go to yes it will take some time and after that we can install okay and up to that point what you need to do let me go to dns as well and we need to put some entries in the dns as well so this is our dns okay and forward lookup zone test dot uh, local is our domain okay so what you need to do let's see if we have no we don't have the entries so right click here and you need to add an entry new host and here it will be imap okay and the ip address will be the ip of this server 192.168.114.240 okay and you can create the pointer the opposite end as well okay so let me copy this one and add host done second we need to create smtp as well and because we have the same server so let me paste this one and done so i create two entry imap and smtp okay for sending and receiving the emails finally right click here and new mail exchange and here you need to type your main server ip which is uh, this one smtp so smtp and you don't need to put anything here that's it and click ok that's it so basically i create three entries okay uh, if i make maximize so imap okay which is the same server smtp the same server and mail exchange okay smtp test dot local so these three entry and it will create the reverse automatically if you refresh so it should be there so yeah, it's there and we have imap smtp okay and that's it that's the only thing required in your dns we are still waiting for this one so let me minimize and see that i put the correct entry yes smtp and i n this one yeah so we are done with this part now we are waiting for the dot net framework so when it install then we can configure so this one is required okay so let me move to the we already download the thunderbird and also the hmail server so let me close these two and let's go back to our server okay we are just waiting okay so dot net uh, framework is installed so let me close this one okay and let me close this one 
and now let's start to install i mail server okay so h mail sorry h mail server so let me click next accept next 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 and type any password a b c at one two three four five and let me confirm a b c at one two three four five and click next and install okay so we need to install this one hml server and let them install and then we will configure it after that okay so run hml server administrator finish okay and this one and connect type the password a b c eight one two three four five and click ok and now it's open so let me add a domain click on add domain and our domain is test dot local okay and click save it's done so it's it's there test dot local click on account and let's create an account create account suppose such as admin and set the password one two three uh, let me put one two three so okay and click save and yes and let me create another account with the name ali and password is one two three okay and click save and yes so i create two account uh, admin and ali test dot local and we are done with the hml server and you can close this one now let's install thunderbird okay the client application click run and after that we can test is working or not so it's like a outlook application okay but for lay purpose and this like a exchange server so click next tender uh, install okay it's so quick and we need to configure few things when it's installed this is almost done and launch finish okay and after that it will open and we need to do a small setup okay so it's open now and it's the first time we open so the name is admin and the email is admin at test dot local and password we set one two three and then after that what you need to do click on config manually and here you need to type i m a p okay and the port is i believe uh one uh 143 okay and auto that's it and what else we need to do let's go down and for the outgoing uh we need to type smtp okay protocol and the port is 25 and that's it okay so incoming and outgoing we configure it and let's test them so the following setting were found by uh, probing the given server so it's okay and i believe and click done okay so it will show you the warning accept this one and confirm okay and we are done with this one so let me finish this one and there is email i believe let's add the other email and we can test them so let's go to account setting and the second account we have can we add another account so add mail account let's add another one and here this time ali and email is ali at test dot local and password was the same one two three configure manually and here you need to type i m a p and one four three and similarly here we need to type s m e p and the port is 25 okay and we need to retest yeah, it's okay and done 
and accept this one and confirm okay so uh, and finish so now we have two email let's try to send email from here to here so let me write an email to Ali from admin okay and let's see is sending or not and here you need to type Ali at test dot local and here I will say test email and here type test message okay and let's send and see it's going to send or not from admin so we need to receive them in Ali everything is okay so we are gonna receive it okay let me close this one and let's see we can receive the email which we send them yeah it's a test email from here from admin test.local to Ali and we are just waiting that we can receive this email if there is no issue so we're gonna receive this one okay we already put the detail and the dns as well so still i cannot see and let me go to ali yeah so i get it yeah so there is a test email and that's what we done it so you can reply okay and reply with okay let's try and let's send them this in progress and we reply to the email and let's see we can receive them here and admin.test yeah so we got it and here is now it's showing so each and everything is okay now we can use this as a mail server